the, on, uh, the following portion, I will call it as a, a 0 0.309, which is called the gym plot. Okay, so gym plot is uh, really the apex of the light scattering. This is an example of the, the actual experimental data. You can see that people are, has, has a change uh, the different concentration, they have used uh, different, prepare the polymer at different concentration. Once again, concentration is a mass per, uh, uh, for the volume. And then they have done the measurement at intensity, okay? So they measure the intensity and then they can change that into a unit called Rayleigh ratio. But it, as you can see that this is an angle of Many, many, many angles, okay? This is actually one of my friends that, when I was in grad school, he's a visiting scientist, Kajuto Kobayashi, and he's a, he's the one that who, who did the experiment. And it's, it's, the, it's actually uh, hard to find a very nice, clean experiment. This is a very nice experiment, nice result. So you're changing the angle from the theta, right? So theta was changing from, and I'm, you are showing probably experimentally you can go up to 30 degrees and you, you don't want to go, go beyond the 30 degrees. So exactly 30 degrees is actually this value right here. Okay? And then that's a probably the highest angle that you go. So the angle is defined. That's the 30 degrees that's, and then the higher. So this is a, the angle of 30 degrees, which is a scatter intensity and the incident light intensity. And so that, that's an angle between the, the transmitted light and the, the theta angle is being calculated. And then the, also the, for a given uh, angle, for example here, I don't know, let's say this is a 50 degrees, for example, and then he can, looking at the sample, he prepared four different samples and then the four different concentration, he recorded it, and then what what he has made is, if I make a shaded line in, in green, this is an actual set of the data that you have generated, right? And then your goal is actually trying to, your goal is trying to, trying to make this extrapolation, so let me put it into the red, at the situation where, okay, this one, this line represents when your angle theta is a zero degrees, right? So what that means is in the limit when your theta goes to zero angle. In other words, Q goes to zero, okay? So that's the, their limitation uh, of the, the line. So from this line, we can get some information. And the other line is, okay, this is a concentration of this, this, this. So concentration is decreasing this way. Angle is decreasing this way. So concentration is also decreasing, right? And this is a theta. And concentration is decreasing this way. So therefore, this is a line in the limit your concentration goes to zero, and that's the limit, okay? And so this is, so you are, essentially your goal is trying to get the line number one, line number two, okay, from this uh, gym plot. It looks like a diamond. When you look at that, oh, it looks like a diamond, and uh, that's, the, that's a good thing for you, for you guys to, to know, okay? Uh, another version that you can find out from the internet is people, people do that uh, uh, for, for doing this. Uh, Okay, some people do the, I guess, the, put the data in a different way, projection to the zero concentration, projection to the theta concentration, and here is a projection to the zero concentration. <laughs> okay, so it, these two are, oh, I didn't know, notice that they are, they are in the reverse way, but I guess that they can, they can do whatever they want. And the, the thing is, uh, let, let, me, let me stick to this, this one too when the concentration goes to zero, okay? So let's, let's, let's go back to the original drawing board that we have here, which is, uh, what is it? Kc over r theta. So scatter light intensity related term, okay? One over scatter light intensity, that's probably fair for me to say. 
and then the one or one plus molecular weight and one plus one third q square rg square plus two b. So this is an equation, what is called the gym equation, and the, um, the gym plot is essentially representing the way that trying to extract the information. So when, when it comes down to the zero concentration, this is a zero concentration, so I don't want to deal with it. And then the, now we are talking about this quantity versus changing Q squared, right? So changing the Q squared. Where is the Q squared here? That's a Q square. You see the sine uh, square half theta? So instead of writing the actually the Q, sometimes the people just use a Q. Experimentally, this is a much easier value to, for you to do. So you put that in, and then you, uh, you changing it. So this is the same as for you to change the, uh, the Q square values. So therefore, uh, the slope uh, here the slope is not exactly, not the same as the the one third of the one, one third of R G square. So this slope here is proportional to. Okay, so it's not. I'm not going to say it's the same. Proportional to R G to the square. Okay, so that's the. So at zero concentration, this line contains a, this red line contains an information about uh, the, the size of the polymer using the gym plot. I think the, that's the, what I want to show it to you. And then going to the other side, this is a, the projection to the zero angle, right? So if you do think about it, it then, what that means is now this equation is changing now. That, okay, so in this case, uh, at the zero, uh, angle, so Q is becomes zero, so this one becomes a zero, so this term becomes a one, so it becomes a, your uh, e uh, equation called, what I call the Debye equation is becoming like that, so therefore you're projecting this versus C. So this one is actually the slope here, right? Slope here is related to 2b. And they use a little, this, uh, when you change the concentration, you, you can change the value. And this k value is uh, some kind of uh, numbers to make these two numbers uh, in the same ranges. So they kind of put it in, in a way uh, to plot this uh, gym plot data. I cannot uh, explain the details of how the gym plot is being made, but you, you can see that from the angle, they can calculate the Q. Q, remember, 4 pi n over lambda naught sine theta over 2. I think that I kind of spent uh, the time to explain that to you. And then there's the concentration. So these are the two terms, but they, they are putting in a one Q squared terms and concentration term, and that's why how they put it in here. Okay, so this is a another equation that, that is shown up, okay? So I, I want to uh, essentially, at least you have seen this quote-unquote diamond looks like a, a plot uh, that is what is called a gym plot, and then the, then you have, a, if you have a further interest is you can uh, look at the literature more.